Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're gonna talk about keywords. Keywords, especially with Amazon, are so unbelievably important. It can literally be the reason you succeed or the reason you fail. So we're gonna go into detail about keywords. We're gonna show you how AMZ Scout have this amazing keyword tool which you can use to your benefit. And we're gonna go through everything that you need to know regarding keywords. But before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below if you ever think about using keywords with your Amazon business. Like, is that a big deal for you? And let's get straight into the video. We're gonna talk all about keywords and why keywords is probably the most important thing about having a successful Amazon business. If you don't really focus on keywords or understand keywords, then you are doing a lot wrong. You need to know exactly how to utilize keywords and that's exactly what we're gonna cover. So firstly, let's just talk about what, um, what is Amazon PPC? Right, what is PPC? Because just, just so you know, I'm gonna go through a few um, things where keywords um, play a big part. So for example, they play a big part in PPC, they play a big part in your actual listing, they play a big part with competition. So we're gonna start with uh, PPC. So what is PPC? Well, that's paid per click advertising. So let's say you're selling um, some electrical tape, okay? And you um, want to create an ad. So you'd create a paid per click advert, advert and what would happen is it would show up on Amazon and someone would click it and you would pay every single time someone clicked it, okay? So that's one way where you would use um, um, keywords. When is it time to invest in PPC? Well, personally, I could invest straight away as soon as I have a listing up. However, usually I invest when I have about three to five reviews just because I feel like the conversion rates will be slightly better and if I'm paying for clicks, I want the conversion rates to be as high as possible. So there's also something um, which is called the A9 algorithm, which is Amazon's algorithm. And I'm not gonna go into it too much because if I'm being honest, no one really knows how, how it works and like how it actually ranks you. However, people can take um, very well-educated guesses based on um, testing and um, what's worked and all this sort of stuff. So for us, yes, I don't know how the A9 algorithm works. I am not in Amazon's brain. However, I know what worked for us. So I can sort of say what is going to work for the masses um, because I know exactly what's worked based on testing and spending a lot of money testing. So I know exactly what's gonna work. So another way we're going to look at keywords is with the AMG Scout Keyword Explorer. I don't know if you've heard of this and I've got it up on my screen here. So this is what it looks like. So when you go into AMG Scout backend, you've got the product database, product tracker, the Chrome extension, which you'll know about, and the Keywords Explorer. The Keywords Explorer is it's so cool, okay? And it gives you a lot of information and it gives you a lot about the search volume, which you can use and we're gonna tell you, or I'm gonna tell you how you can use that information. So we're gonna use it based on blankets, okay? So what, what am I gonna use the, the keyword um, explorer for? So let's firstly, let me tell you how to use it and then we'll get into it. So it's really, really simple. You type something in, blankets, click search, and the three dots will show you it's searching. And then as soon as it's done, this pops up. Something just fell. And you have all of this, um, you have all of these keywords, right? Now, one thing to know is when you, if let's say you um, were going to sell blankets, this is a great way to find lots of other keywords because you want to have 40, 50, maybe even 60 keywords for your one product. And I'll explain a bit later why you want this. So if you already have a product, um, you can you can use it for a few different a few different reasons like you can use the keyword explorer um a few different ways um so one thing you can do is you can you can see how a product is growing over time so for example i looked um don't remember how long ago it was but weighted blanket showed just over a million estimated month search volume and now it's showing 3.8 million so you can see that the niche is really really growing another thing that you can see is um you can see how you are doing in comparison so for example if you're getting 40 sales 
when it was showing 1.5 million searches. Well, now it's showing 3.8 million searches, you should probably be getting 80 sales. Does that make sense? So you can see if you're sort of like on the same level, if you're growing with the search volume, which I think is super cool, super important. And you can see if your sales are growing proportionately right, with the search volume. And another way you can use it is if you don't have a product. And if you don't have a product, then you can, again, watch over time to see if a niche is growing, to see if um, you want to go into a certain niche, if you think that the search volume is big enough and you think the search volume is growing over time, you can um, see exactly what products are being searched for. So let's have a look at the computer again. You can see you've got blankets here, but then you've got weighted blankets, you've got throw blankets, you've got blanket, you've got baby blanket. So if you actually look, blanket only gets 1.1 million and weighted blanket gets 3.8 million. So that's a much more popular product. However, remember you will be new. So maybe you might not want to go for the most popular product, but this is a, just an extra tip, which I'm going to say, and I usually keep this for my course and stuff like that. Cause we go so much into detail about keywords. Cause I personally firsthand know how important keywords are. But one thing to know is you, if you sell blankets, you can use the keyword blanket and the keyword weighted blanket and the keyword throw blanket. So combined, that's nearly, well, that's nearly seven, over 7 million, 5 million, 6 million. It's, yeah, over 6 million, 6.2 million, something like that um, of searches every single month. So you can use so many keywords for one product as long as they have some sort of connection, right? So just because weighted blanket gets more than blanket, that doesn't matter, you can use them both in your back end and I'll tell you exactly where you can use them. So you can use all this information to help you pick better, better products. You can use this information to make sure you pick the right products. And um, most importantly, it will allow you to pick. Um, so remember how I just said whether or not you pick weighted blanket or blanket, but it doesn't matter because it's you can use both keywords or well, some things which are very important, like um, what's going to get more searches, red blanket or blue blanket or yellow blanket and it will allow you to pick the blanket that's gets the most searches. For example, if, if, you have a, if you're selling a red blanket, you can't use the keyword blue blanket because there's just no connection there. The person searching a blue blanket, gosh, it's hard to say, the person searching for blue blanket clearly wants a blue blanket. Um, if the person searching for red, they want a red one. So you can see which color gets the most searches. You can see which size gets the most searches, which material gets the most searches. So all of this is really important. And that's what you can use the keyword explorer for, um, the, key, the keyword explorer tool for. So that's why it's really, really good. So you can use um, the, the, the middle ground keywords, which is like the keywords that don't get as many searches, for example, like um, tail blanket, um, muslin, swaddle, um, swaddle blankets, 210,000 searches. These are all still amazing keywords that you can have in your arsenal of keywords, right? In your arsenal of keywords. Um, because like I said, you want 50 to 60 keywords. And I'll tell you what you're going to use those keywords for very soon. So bear in mind, and this is very important, it's easier to rank on Amazon <clears throat> for longer tail, highly relevant keywords, if that makes sense. So um, for example, if you want to rank high on Amazon with um, selling blankets, it will be easy to sell, it will be easy to rank in like the number one spot for the keyword red um, weighted blanket, red, oh no, how about red soft weighted blanket, right? Because it's a long tail, really specific to your product keyword, rather than just trying to rank for number one for the word blanket. So you can also, that's what the keyword tool is good for because you can see what the longer tail keywords are for. You can see how many search they're getting and you can start by ranking for those. And by ranking for those, all the other keywords will slowly work their way up the rank as well. So that is some next level information there. Not everyone uses that information. Not everyone thinks it's important, but it's really, really important. So let's have a talk about where you put keywords like in your listing, advertising, that sort of stuff. So. Firstly, keywords are everywhere. Keywords are in the title, keywords are in the bullet. Keywords are in the description. I even believe keywords are in the reviews. And more importantly, keywords in the ads, keywords in PPC. So firstly, I would say the strongest places for keywords is the title and the bullets. 
And then secondary is the um, description and the reviews. And you never know, keywords could even be in the images. If you have um, some words in the images, they could be taken. Or if you put, um, if you title your images, um, instead of titling it just like image one, image two, if you title it blanket one um, or blanket throw, blanket this, those names could be used as keywords as well. So that's really cool. Not many people know that. Another great place to put keywords is in the back end. So in the Amazon Seller Central hub, um, you can go in there, it's like, you go into inventory, you click the product and you can put a whole bunch of keywords in. So you wanna really put as many keywords in there as well. So that's um, places that you can put keywords. Um, one thing to consider is if you uh, find new keywords, you do research and you wanna update some keywords, change the title, change something with the new keywords, see how it goes for a couple of weeks, um, see if um, your sales increase, decrease, and then you can update keywords, remove keywords, and that's just a good way of testing different kinds of keywords. So we're now gonna use, uh, well, I'm now gonna tell you how you use PPCs, pay-per-click advertising, I mentioned it at the beginning of the video. How are we going to use that for keywords? Um, because this is just incredible what you can, what you can achieve with, uh, um, what information you can get out of PPC ads with keywords. So there are two types of ads that you can make, and I'm talking just about Amazon. You've got the, um, the manual ads and you've got the like ready-made ads that you just click, you click your product and you click go and Amazon do everything for you. So we're not going to worry about that. We're going to do the manual ads. In the manual ads, you can put keywords in and target specific keywords, right? So remember how I keep saying 40 to 50 to 60 keywords, you want um, like a big list of keywords for a product. So you would put, what I do is I put all the keywords into the um, ad, right? I put all the keywords into the ad, I let it go for a couple of days and bear in mind with Amazon, you have to wait at least three days um, for them to start getting information. Okay, so um, if your budget is $90, make sure you do $30 per day because you need at least three days. And um, once I put all the keywords, once I put all the keywords in the ad, I'll let I'll let it run, and I'll then I'll be able to see a bunch of different information. I'll be able to see which keywords are getting the most sales. I'll be able to see which keywords are getting the good conversion rates. I'll be able to see how much it's costing me per click per keyword. Which, well, that pretty much shows you how much um, competition there is. Because if there's a very high bid, there's a lot of competition for that keyword. So that way, you're able to find out how much competition there is for a keyword. Um, everything and the most important one is impressions okay you can see how many impressions a keyword is getting so if a keyword is getting a thousand impressions a day that's a lot of impressions so that's like a thousand people scrolling past your product pretty much every single day and if a keyword is getting 30,000 impressions a day that's insane so it really shows you which keywords are the most popular the most well searched for the ones that you should try and focus on the ones that you should um um make your listing based around, okay, if that makes sense. So that's what I find very, very important, just that information alone. And that's why when I start a, a new product, I will use ads. I don't use ads anymore because now I pretty much know everything there is to know about my product. I haven't used ads in a long time. And that's the beauty of it. You start with ads, you have to pay a bit of money with ads, obviously, but eventually it all goes organic. I haven't used ads in absolutely ages, literally ages. So that is how you would use Amazon's ads um, in conjunction with keywords, okay? And I'm gonna show you now how you can actually find keywords. So, like I said, you need 40, 50, 60 keywords. Okay, I don't need to keep saying that, but you need quite a few. And you can um, you can use keywords with the, the Keyword Explorer. So you've got the Keyword Explorer with AMZ Scout. That's one way of seeing keywords. So, for example, you've got blankets I've searched for, then you've got sw swaddle blankets, Mexican blankets, beach blanket, fleece blanket, picnic blanket. There's so many different blankets, right? That's one way of seeing it. Now, another way of seeing it is, let's refresh this so we can start again, so I can show you. So another way of doing it is go to amazon.com or whatever marketplace you're from, search blanket, and you can firstly just look at the competition. So you can see from, look at here, okay. Soft queen size blanket, all season, warm, fuzzy, micro plush, lightweight, thermal fleece. This is tons of keywords, they're using so many keywords. And then you can click into them and you can see what keywords they've used in their bullet. You can see what keywords they've used in their description. So many ideas for keywords. And one thing which I love about the AMZ Scout Chrome extension tool is you can click the Chrome extension tool, okay, and it will bring up all this information. And then you can get, you can actually find out people's keywords. So let's, you go the three dots here, you hover over it, you click get keywords, and it shows you the keywords that they are using. 
How mad is that? You can see your competition's exact keyword. You can export to CSV, um, and you can just go through and just look at all of your competition's keywords. It's like how many keywords that is. That's easily 40 keywords right there that you can use for this, um, for this product. So to me, I'm thinking, that's insane. So if you're going into a product, um, you can use this to find out if there's enough keywords because you need a lot of keywords to have a successful product. So you can use it to find if there's enough keywords. If, you've already, if you're already selling a product, let's say you're already selling blankets, you can use this to find out more keywords, new keywords to add that could be working. So look at the number one guy, see what keywords he's using because they're obviously working for him and then add them into your description, your title, your back end, because it's just keywords are everything. They're so important. So I hope this video um, makes made, made sense and um, I hope I put the, the point across well enough as to how vital um, keywords are for succeeding on Amazon because they are seriously, seriously important and you shouldn't like skimp out on keywords. You should really focus on keywords and make it a big part of your business. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you liked it. Leave a comment down below what you think. If you have any questions, myself or someone will answer those questions, um, try and help you out as best we can um, to, to really make sure you understand keywords properly. And hopefully I'll see you in um, some more videos. This is my name is Shimmy Morris and I'm making this video for AMZ Scout. If you want to check out my channel, the link will be in the description. If you want to check out the Keyword Planner tool, if you want to check out, um, well, the Keyword Explorer tool, if you want to check out the Chrome extension tool, any of AMZ Scout tools, all the links will be in the description. So check those out because they're really, really cool. And hopefully I will see you in another video. So thanks so much for watching.